Hello and welcome to another episode of Lunch with Luna. And in this episode, I will be talking about practice does not make perfect. How many times have you heard people actually say, hey, practice makes perfect, practice makes perfect. And yet, a lot of these people, when they do practice, they're still not very good. Um, why is that? If you play video games uh, long enough, you'll see that some people just never improve, no matter how many games they've put in. Uh, take League of, uh, League of Legends, for example. You can pretty much find someone that are still very low uh, elo, despite them playing 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 games in, uh, in in their time of playing playing the game. Why why are they still stuck there? Well, one of the reasons is uh, because they they're not willing to improve. They're not willing to learn the things that's necessary and translate that into an applicable form um, to to progress. But most of the reasons uh, that the biggest reason I think is a series of habits that they've developed. They could be good, it could be bad. Generally, it's bad that's keeping them behind. Now, how how does this happen then? I've seen people go uh, from low elo to high elo, and then they jump back down to low elo, and then they go back up high elo, and then they come back down low elo. Uh, really, is it not the, uh, uh, the the teams that is causing them to to drop? Maybe, maybe sometimes. Um, but there are still instances that things that you can change um, to, to, to grow. Now, I actually think that practice makes permanent rather than practice makes perfect. And let me explain this to you. If, um, actually the best example to explain this to you is many, many years ago I was told by an associate that uh, he had a friend who's really, really good with tennis. And he was probably the best uh, locally in his region, and when we come to national games, he you know he was top three contender. However, every time at tournament, he would only ever get to top three, and first or second would always lose to someone else, despite him being um, younger, despite him actually putting a lot more effort than everyone else's. Uh, for example, the the top two. Um, when 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 they were playing, I think if I remember correctly, he used to train 12 hours a day, um, and in, uh, in competition week he used to step that up to about 13, 14, um, and even at tournaments he would he would still lose. Uh, and then one year he he had enough, he got a, a coach to came into to help him, and to analyze uh, why he he's losing, because this guy. If you ha uh, hit the shuttle too high, a little bit too high, he he can capitalize that on really quickly. He can smash it exactly, uh, pinpoint onto the onto the same location. Um, his opponents knew this, and you would see uh, uh, finals or quarterfinals, semifinals that you'll see these smashes all the time, and you're like, how come he's still not winning? He's hitting these constantly. The coach had videos and things set up. And the result of the information that they gathered was that every time he did a smash, it exerted too much pressure and he lacked the control. You might think, that's odd. He cleared the net every time. He got it to the same location every time. Why would you say he lacked control? Well, he had a lot of strength in that, um, but it was always one of two places that it could be going into and those two places are almost predictable depending on where where he's setting off from but the video analyst actually told, got him the information that um, he exerted way too much pressure in doing the this smash so therefore the opponents all they had to do was keep uh, feeding him the, the, the high shuttles, the high shuttles, the high shuttles and they'll have to keep uh, draining his stamina like drain, 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 drain and then eventually he can't he can't carry that anymore, uh, and he he basically lost, and that's why he's always third place. The analyst actually got a lot more information from that. Uh, something so subtle could be uh, quite a huge game changer. So one of the stuff that that they picked up was like the way that he did his backhand and his forehand. He used to twist his um, wrists uh, a bit too much, or his stepping was uh, a bit too much. Uh, just a little bit of an angle change 
changes the game so much. But this guy spent 12 hours a day, remember? 14 hours a day leading up to tournaments. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, before the actual games, he probably did a thousand smashes before the tournaments, a thousand uh, more more hits per, during the day. Uh, it's instilled into him that that practice regime was right. So he developed a really strong smash, but it was actually a bad execution that he's perfected in the long run. So his muscle memory knows how to do that smash, but that smash is done in the wrong technique. So therefore it drained too much stamina, etc, etc. Are you right now so stubborn in a way of thinking that there is only one way to play a certain role or one way to play a certain champion? Is there one way that you always have to play uh, to ensure victory? Maybe um, there is another way that you can you can look at. There's a different angle that you can consider, um, and there there are things that you can you can do that subtle little changes that could change the way that you you, you play the game. Now, obviously, check with your coach uh, or check with the people that have an invested interest in your success. They will be able to help you and guide you as to what you need to do to uh, to up your up your level. Now. In terms of uh, people that are just starting out, for example, this applies to you too. Um, maybe uh, at very, very low elo, you might be playing the game and you're not really considering, I don't know, let's say you're playing ADC, but you're not actually getting the last hits from the minions. You just want to clear the waves uh, and then you just want to push all day long. If you just change the focus a little bit and just say, hey, for the first 10 minutes, I want to hit 70 CS or 75 CS or 80 CS and slowly push that up maybe you'll see a, a, a huge gradual spike in in the way that you play the game in the first 10 minutes and that 10 minutes is enough to create more damage than you usually do now for the higher uh, high elo players they think well this is normal of course but I think there are people that just started out that didn't know that um, and at a high elo you might have something else that you might consider Maybe it's your practice regime that you might need to change. Maybe it's just a matter of changing your, your diet that needs to change. Maybe it's a matter of changing uh, how you spend your time to relax that needs to change. Or how you communicate that needs to change. I don't know. You have to figure that out or find someone that can help you to, to figure that out. Um, if you like uh, these videos, feel free to subscribe. If you have comments or suggestions as to what we can discuss in future topics or if you have comments or suggestions you want to ask about this video or things that you want to change, feel free to comment below. And of course, follow us through uh, Twitter at TCA Esports um, and send us a Facebook like uh, on facebook.com forward slash TCA Esports.